we're going to use a method called the break apart strategy to solve for multiplication effects. Let's solve for 6 times 7 using the break apart strategy. I need to decide which factor I am going to break apart. I can break apart the 6 or the 7. I am going to choose to break apart the 7. So when I break apart the 7, I am going to break apart the 7 use the 7 using addition. I am going to multiply the 6 times an addition problem that is equal to 7. 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. So this 7 is broken apart into 5 plus 2. 6 times 7 is equal or equivalent to 6 times 5 plus 2. We're going to use this grid paper to draw that out. When I am modeling 6 times 7 equals 6 times 5 plus 2, I am going to focus on the side that I broke apart, which is this side. That's the side that I'm going to focus on when I'm going to model this. So since I didn't change the 6, I am going to use this grid paper, and I'm going to count 6, but I'm going to go the long way. I'm going to go down, 6 long. So I'm just going to mark 6 boxes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That kind of is going to help guide me this way, 6 down. And I'm going to look at this 5, and I'm going to go wide. I'm going to go 6 boxes wide. So I have this one here. 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm just going to box it all in. Like that. This is 6 because this represents my factor 6. I'm going to put 5 here. This represents my factor 5. And that gives me 6 times 5. And 6 times 5 equals the number of boxes inside. This is the area inside. So 6 times 5 gives me this section. Now I'm going to go focus over here and look at the 2. Remember, I did not change the 6, so I'm going to keep the 6. I'm going to count down again. 6 boxes long. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Like this. But this time, I'm not going to do 5. I've already taken care of the 5 over here. I'm going to look at the 2. So I'm going to go just over one more. 1, 2. Now I'm going to box all of this in. This side remains 6, just like this side, but then I have the 2 here. And I can see where I have the 5 and the 2 that broke apart, and 5 and 2 equals the 7. Now here I will have 6 times 2. So I can do two things. I can multiply 6 times 5. I know my multiplication facts. If I'm not sure, I can go inside and count each one of these boxes to see what 6 times 5 represents. So 6 times 5 is 30, and if I count all the boxes, I should have 30. Over here, 6 times 2 equals 12. And again, if I went in and counted all the boxes, I would see that it was 12. So that's a way that you can check yourself if you aren't sure about your multiplication facts at this time. Now what we need to do is take these two numbers, our, our products, 6 times 5 equals 30. So we have to take the product of 30, and we look over here, 6 times 2 equals 12, and we take the product of 12, and now we are just simply going to add them together to figure out what 6 times 7 equals. So 30 plus 12 and that gives me 0 plus 2 is 2, 3 plus 1 is 4, 42. And when I'm solving, 6 times 7 equals 42. And that is how we use the break apart strategy for multiplication. Remember to take care of your journal work. And don't forget to go on at Moto and say, Ms. Clemens, I have watched the video.